exciting. Welcome back to Three Minute Thursdays. This is a series that I put together for you, and this is move number nine. Now this move is not a flash move, this is not a, a, a multiplex move, this is like a snatch move. And it looks like this. Mm. Power. Snatch moves are very powerful, snatch moves become very popular when people realise that they could snatch the bottle out of the air with the shaker and it makes that big sound. What I wouldn't want you to do is get stuck on just snatch moves. Now, I've seen that with a lot of people recently within the flare world. They're just in snatch, 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 snatch. Doesn't matter. It's good to have the repertoire or the, the snatch moves in your repertoire. Um, and this one is a nice one because what you're doing, you're only using one of your hands, uh, but you're throwing all the objects up in the air and you're catching them. So it is kind of a flash move, as I explained before, but it's got this snatch at the end. Now, we show you last week's move was this. We're in this position, you're holding the tin only, you're not holding the bottle, you're holding the tin, and you wanna hold it fairly near the bottom, so in the middle towards the bottom. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the, the, the bottle and tin here. You wanna make sure that's loose. And what can happen, especially if you're using a plastic, is it gets stuck. If that's the case, wiggle it like this, hold onto the tin strong, wiggle it. You may have seen people do that in competitions or on videos, uh, and then you can start doing the next move. I use a glass bottle, it becomes easier. It doesn't get stuck so often. Now, when you're in this position, what you're gonna do, you're gonna flick both the objects up. Don't try and throw it that way. It will go that way naturally. Throw it up and sort of kind of towards you. And what will happen is they should come apart like this. Whoops, they should come apart like this. So they go up, all right? And you wanna aim on catching the tin to start with. Just aim on the tin. Yeah, but it becomes more difficult again because let's put the, tip, the bottle down. When you throw up, you're throwing up this way, and as it comes up this way, you're gonna turn your hand around and you're gonna catch the tin like this. So your hand goes from this way to this way. Throw up, turn your hand around, and you're gonna catch the tin this way. It's quite an awkward catch, but it makes the snatch more easy. So come up, watch the change of the hand. Change the hand, and you see how the bottle is over there. I'm catching the bottle in my other hand for now, which you can start doing, okay? Because then what's gonna happen is you're gonna come across here, and you're gonna snatch the bottle like that. So you're gonna come up, and snatch the bottle like this, all right? Uh, you wanna start trying to do this, maybe try and do it with a plastic bottle. Don't worry, I don't know what's over there, I was just looking at it. Don't worry if you're not actually snatching the bottle. You just want to get the motion of this, okay? It's very important that you understand that. Some people, oh, I can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. If you understand the motion that you need to do with the move, which in this case is flick, change, grab, snatch, you've basically understood the move and you're, you're there. You're 90% of the way there. All you need to do now is hardcore practice to be able to perfect the move to snatch it in the right position. So, that you can grab it and you can snatch it. Okay? But it is literally find the position which works for you. If you flick it too much, you can come underneath the bottle and catch it. But you'll figure out the tricks which work for you and, and how you can perfect this move the more that you try it. It's a strong, powerful move. And the first guy I actually saw doing this was a guy called Chuck McIntosh many, many years ago. If you don't know who that is, go and check out or Google Bottle Slinger uh, and you can find out a little bit more then. Cool. This three minute Thursday is going to be a long one because it is the end of the sequence. Um, <clears throat> This has been a series of moves which I've put together to finish in a sequence for you. It's been a series of flash moves, which uh, is quite difficult. And we're only using two objects at the moment. I know people have been screaming for me to do multiple objects. That will come, okay? But uh, for now, work on these because if you can perfect these basic moves, the other moves become a lot, lot more uh, easier to perform. But these moves aren't really basic either. They're just a selection of flash moves which I've put together to create a sequence. So let's see if I can get it this time. Ready? It looks like this. Three, four, five. Let me know 
know what you think about this, please. I really hope that you've liked it. Um, and I will do more. So until next time, I'll see you then.